You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Salah to settle it! In front of the COP! Right, welcome back to the COP TV. Liverpool's dream is damaged. We are not going to win the Premier League. Like, comment and subscribe to the COP TV if you haven't already. Massive thanks tonight. We've been very well looked after at Gravity Max. Incredible selection of beverages. Pour your own beverages and also food has been in top notch, which we'll see in the vlog. If you haven't watched that, go and watch it. But... Everything else tonight has been top quality. The company, the venue, uh, the food and drink, apart from the performance. And tonight, Liverpool were absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. Branthwaite and Calvert-Lewin with two goals that could have easily been avoided. But let's not even talk about that. This is your player ratings video, for Christ's sake. Ingo Allison uh, made a couple of fairly routine saves. I can't give him more than a six and a half. Conceded two goals tonight in the derby away at Everton, the first time they've beat us since 2010. Um, right back Trent dragged off after 75, six. Um, couldn't really find his range tonight. Didn't really get his eye in. Poor game offensively. Nothing really came off crosswise. And Liverpool were just poor all over the pitch tonight. Um, so we're out of the title race. Everton are safe, so that's great. It was supposed to be the other way around. Centre-backs, Virgil van Dijk and Canate. Canate dragged 75. Six each. Poor tonight, van Dijk. I'll be really honest, I thought he was poor tonight. To not have an awareness or understanding of where Calvert-Lewin is for that corner. And the ball seemed like it was in the air for an eternity. It seemed like it was there to be won quite easily, but it floated right down onto Calvert-Lewin's head, and that's the killer goal. So both centre-backs tonight were poor, I'll be honest. The left-back, Robertson, he tried his best. I never really do play ratings saying Robertson didn't try, he tried his best. Um, but again, I have to give him a six. And then the midfield, Soboslai, McAllister and Curtis Jones, I'll be honest, I have to give them all a five. Never really were in control of the midfield, even with all the possession. But the problem is, when we have a lot of possession recently, it's between Canate, Van Dijk and Alisson. That's not where you need the position and possession to be. <coughs> so we never really string or strung five passes together in the midfield, which didn't really create any kind of connection between the midfield and the attack. And then up front, Mo Salah, horrendous miss. Nunes, horrendous miss. Diaz hit the post, just like he did last year here. And we haven't scored at Everton now for two years in a row, which is a big worrying sign, considering this is a relegation fighting team for the last however many years now. And I know it's a derby, the rule book gets thrown out the window, the form book. But, um, but that is an embarrassing performance from Liverpool tonight. And there's been some this season that have really shocked me, if I'm honest. Um, the Atalanta 3-0, the Crystal Palace 1-0, and this, all within two weeks of each other. At this time of the season, guys, when, you know, mid-March, everything was on track, everything was on site, at least. We were, the, the vision was there to go and win at least two trophies, maybe push for three, we'll still be in four. You fast forward a month and all of a sudden we find ourselves with one trophy and that's it. As you know, it really is between Arsenal and Man City now. I don't see us, even if we go to West Ham and win, if we go to Villa and win, if we beat Spurs, if we beat Wolves. I just can't see it now, people. And the stemming point, I guess, the, the start of the downfall has to be the Man United game, losing 4-3. You know, I don't, 
I, I don't want to look back on the season and think that it was a failed season in quotation marks we have won a trophy which is more than 95% of other teams can say in any league in any season it's not everyone can win trophies and we've won one but it obviously it isn't the one that we wanted um, Premier League slipped away from us now and again those three results that I just mentioned they're all coming in the last three weeks four weeks five weeks um, and that was the stemming point, the Man United game. So thanks to Man United and Everton, we've not won the FA Cup and we've not won the Premier League. And Atalanta sandwiched in between those performances. It's just a damp squib end to the season. It really is poor. So listen, it's it's um, it's one of them when you just have to laugh. So if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Um, so listen, man, uh, I'll be back on the Cop TV tomorrow with Nicky. We'll be doing a match preview for the West Ham game. And obviously I'm going to the West Ham game on Saturday, so I'll give it my all there. But that was awful to watch. That really was awful to watch from Liverpool. So I don't know what to say. Um, poor, very, very poor. All round. And I'm heartbroken. I'm standing here gutted because I realised that that's it now. It was a, like I said in the week, a 10 to 15 to 16 percent chance. I thought we were in the league, but now that's that's gone right down to zero. So we're going to have to dust ourselves down. You know, Klopp's going to have to walk out the door um, at the end of the season to an amazing reception as he as he deserves to get. But that is just not how we wanted it to end, and um, we'll have to do what we can from this point. Shout out to Everton, they deserve to win it. We weren't clinical enough again. How many times can you say it? I'm fed up of saying it. And I feel like all the hard work that the players have done this season, all the hard work the Klopp's done, all the hard work that the Klopp TV as the channel has done, this is where it's culminated, people. Title, you just heard it. Liverpool's title dreams are all but over. So I'll leave it at that. Just keep a strong face. Uh, if you get bantered at work tomorrow, tell them AGT will send, send someone around to deal with it. Because that's the only way we can deal with this right now. It's poor, it's sad. But it's football. Take care. Like, comment and subscribe. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you check out the rest of the channel too. There's other stuff you'll enjoy for sure. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Cop TV. The, the voice, voice of football's, football's most, most famous, famous dad. dad. Come on.